hello, welcome. I'm Tammy Story. I'm the um, Family Engagement Coordinator and the Federal Programs Director for the Early County School System. And I wanted us to get together today just for a, a little while to look at our website. We have some uh, resources online. And um, so I just wanted to go over those with you and then maybe open it up for some conversation um, after that to see what you might need or what are some resources that might be more beneficial or uh, that we could add to what we have. So um, I'm going to share my screen. And um, let me get that out of there. Let's see here. Uh, I hope that you all can see my screen. Um, the first thing that I uh, wanted to share with you is um, our school's website. Um, we uh, put monthly updates from the superintendent on here. In Bobcat News, you can see um, it's just information for parents or it may be um, like we have some upcoming school improvement meetings that we'd love for you all to attend with us. Um, we have a a town hall meeting next Tuesday, but this is one of the places that is a stationary place. It's not like Facebook where it goes down in a feed, but it's a stationary place you can come to see what's going on or um, what's most up to date. Uh, just a place to, to look for news. And if you scroll down, um, you can see we have anonymous alerts. That's if you have any kind of concern, a community member, a student, a parent, anybody can send a concern in there. Um, then we have some other information like our academic calendars. Uh, we already have the 23-24 calendar posted. Um, and then our mission statement and any employment opportunities. Um, so just wanted to kind of just give you a little heads up on that. We have lots of information on our uh, school website, but what we're gonna talk about tonight um, is the parents page. So if you click on the parents tab and click to go to the parents page, um, we have some resources there. Give me just one second to pull that up. Um, you can always find my information at the top of that page. Uh, that's my phone number and my email address and call me anytime I can be of assistance to you or if you need anything, I'll be glad to try to help you as much as possible. Um, and then we're going to cover the three other tabs up here. But first, um, just to let you know that we have our uh, Facebook feed here. If you don't have a Facebook page and you just want to kind of come and see what we've been putting on our page, you can scroll down here. As you can see right here, we have the Bobcat board highlights from last night, uh, sorry, Tuesday night's board meeting, which was March the 14th. And then also we just have a couple of posts about what went on at that board meeting. We had our drummers come in and do some drumming for us. And we recognized our girls basketball team. So uh, that's just some information for you. Um, also, I have a couple of webinars here, and I know they're a couple years back, but they're still very relevant. Um, the first one is about getting ready for middle school that you can go to, and there's some good information about that as we come up to summer, and I know some of you may have some uh, middle schoolers coming on up. And also, let's get ready for kindergarten, some good information there as well. And then I wanted to share the other pages on in the parents corner. And the first one is the communications page. On this page, uh, we have information about Remind and in uh, early county school system, we utilize Remind to communicate critical information to our parents. Um, so if you're not getting a Remind text or email or app notification from your teacher, your school, or the district, then you really need to make sure you let me know so we can uh, make sure that we have your information correct and everything's good to go because this is how we send out that critical information. Just as an example, say we're having a weather day tomorrow because weather's going to be bad, we're going to send that out and remind to all our parents because it should be able to go directly to the source of um, whatever they want to get their information on, whether it's a text on their cell phone, an email, or an app notification. 
Um, so if you're not getting those and you want, uh, we, we need to do something about that, please give me a call and uh, let's make sure we get that fixed. And then we also have Infinite Campus Parent Portal. Um, you may or may not have a Parent Portal account. If you don't have a port Parent Portal account, you can go to the um, Parent Portal page and we'll just scooch over there real quick. Um, and right here you see Parent Portal Account Setup Directions. And those are step-by-step -step directions. So if you utilize those directions to please make sure you follow each step in the process. Um, I was just gonna pull those up to show you that it is several steps. Um, and you, if I can get back to it, there we go. Uh, if you have an account and you need to reset your password, there's reset password reset directions right there. Um, if you have issues with any of these or you're having problems getting into your account, you can always email the help desk um, and that is just simply helpdesk at early.k12.ga.us and it's found right here. Um, I'm gonna check my chat, okay, good. Um, so just wanna make sure that you're aware of Parent Portal and Parent Portal. You can find your child's up-to-date grades and attendance. Um, also, SLDS is available through Parent Portal, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Also, we have uh, Facebook pages. Our system has a page, and each one of our schools have a page, so be sure to check those out. We like to share information about our students and what's going on in our school there. Also, we have a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to. Um, just wanted to make sure I touch base on that. Um, also, we have some resources for parents here, um, and uh, one of the things that we have is the Positive Behavioral Interventions and Support. Here you can go to our PBIS website uh, for the system, and then this is a Strong for Life Parent Resource Handout. Um, you just It's really a, a website that you can go to, and it covers multiple uh, resources for um, social emotional learning, um, ha healthy habits, uh, coping skills. You know, we've been through a couple of years of um, some trying times and we want to make sure that we have resources available for our parents and for our students. Going back to the parents corner, we also have wellness tips with Lori. Lori Clinney is our director of student services. She's also a uh, licensed um, counselor. And uh, we've made um, a playlist of tips uh, for any age, really. Um, I'll show you on our YouTube page. We have uh, on our YouTube channel, we have a playlist of wellness tips with Lori. And um, just bring that up so I can show you uh, the different uh, topics that we have. She talks about uh, mindfulness and calming strategies and um, talking about ADHD, um, anxiety. Uh, we uh, talk about anger, managing anger, and these are great tips for not just students, but for adults as well. So I encourage you to go and just give them a listen. They're, they're usually pretty short, so it's not like a, a lot of time to go and listen to them. And there are a lot of great tips and tricks uh, in there as well. So going back to our parents page, we have some other social emotional resources and links, and you can see all of those here. Um, some more. Uh, topics like anxiety and uh, the COVID-19 emotional support line, um, the Georgia crisis and access line. Anytime you have a situation where you feel like you or somebody you know needs help, um, you can call that number and they'll talk with you. Uh, they'll even send people out if it's a crisis situation. So uh, just making sure that, you know, you know, that's available as well. Um, we have been touched with suicide in our community. So we want to make sure that um, everybody has the suicide prevention line. 
And um, also we have some bullying prevention uh, resources here. Um, and again, the Be Strong program uh, there. Um, and again, you know, during COVID, we, we have kids, we have parents and students who have suffered a lot of loss, but um, just some resources on how to talk to your child about loss, supporting your um, children and, and, and helping them through those losses too. Another uh, resource that I want to direct you to is SLDS. Um, I mentioned it when we were talking about Parent Portal, but SLDS, uh, when you go into your Parent Portal on a computer, and I, I don't think you can access it through the app. You have to sign in through a computer. But if when you go into SLDS, you'll look, you'll see this for your child, and the performance um, block over here talks about your child's academic history in the state of Georgia uh, in public schools. So their, their history on their milestones, their grades, their attendance, their Lexile score, scores, which is their reading um, levels, things like that. You can find all of that under that performance tile. And you can also click on the user guide and it'll, it'll also help you how to navigate SLDS, SLDS, the statewide longitudinal data system. Um, if you click on resources, um, I'm going to just jump over here for a second because I really want to point this out. Um, if you click on resources in your SLDS for your child, um, it will bring up their actual current schedule that they have. And what you can do is if they're having trouble in one of their classes, you can click on the class that they're having trouble in. And what that'll do is bring up the Georgia standards for that class. And you can click on the class, or I'm sorry, the standard that maybe they're, you know, you can drill it down to a particular standard that they may be having difficulty with and when you do that and you click on it you can see like that one's highlighted blue then you can see here that there are resources online resources available to actually target that standard um, that that student may need help with so um, it's a really good um, tool to use so you can see here that they click on this standard and it brings up this page and that maybe helps that helps address what's in that standard for that student. So um, I think that's a really good tool to use when you're wanting some specific help for your student. Uh, let me get back to parent resources. So that's the statewide longitudinal system. They have some other information in here like my career plan. Um, I don't know that we utilize the King bill uh, but you can check all of those out. And if you want to check SLD out with me and let's look at it together, I'll be glad to do that. You just give me a call. Um, another thing that we have is Google Classroom. Um, and uh, there's a we have access to a parent and family digital learning guide from the Office of Technology. Um, during COVID, we had a lot of getting on Google Classroom and our teachers still utilize Cl uh, Google Classroom as a, their online learning platform. So um, knowing about Google Classroom is a good thing to do. There's a parent's guide to Google Classroom. And then down at the bottom here, we have a few more resources. Um, the, these are some academic resources that we have available. Uh, and you may or may not have heard of Khan Academy. Um, and Khan Academy, again, is where you can, uh, you can go there and you can um, find resources that address certain um, uh, areas that your student may be struggling with. So if they know what they're struggling with, they can go in and um, click um, or find the, the videos that may be helpful to them. Like you can do pre-algebra and then you can go and pick one of these and it'll have an actual video lesson to help the student with that actual, um, their actual uh, issues that they may be needing additional help with. And 
Also, uh, this is not academic, but we do have a community resource guide that kind of lists some of the resources available in our community. Now, I will say that this guide may need updating a little bit, but um, you can see in the pages here that there are several um, things in our community that if you needed to get in touch with them, there's uh, ways to, if you go to uh, one of the resources, they're, they, they're listed and then their contact information is listed. So um, if you do happen to use it and you happen to find, have a problem with it, let me know so we can make sure we update it. Um, and then our special education website is right here. Um, and these uh, it has our special education uh, administrators listed. And then child fund, if you if you um, if you know or if your child or you know of a child that may be uh, sus you may suspect have having a disability, please uh, contact. Um, Marva Smith Mincy, she is our director of special education. Um, so also we have resources here about uh, MTSS. MTSS is um, the multi-tiered systems of support in our system. Um, and it's where we tier our interventions. We have tier one interventions that are um, in, um, that's where 80% of our students are. And if students are still struggling at that green level, they move up to the secondary level and the interventions become a little bit more intensive. If they get up to the next, if they're still struggling in that yellow area and they get up to the next, the red area of that pyramid, then those interventions become even more intensive. And so that's kind of how we monitor and try to provide services for our students to help them succeed before it gets to, um, you know, before they get too behind. Uh, but it, it covers not just academic, but also behavioral um, so it's academic and behavioral supports. And so that's a lot of information. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, come over here and I'm going to stop sharing my screen and come back to you. And I'm going to um, start allowing people to talk. If so, if they can, and see if you have any uh, questions or um, anything that you would like to uh, say, or, or are there resources that were missing? Yes, Mr. Haynes, can you talk? Yes, ma'am, I can. I just, I did not, I was very unaware of all the um, resources that y'all have available on this website, um, I am I am blown away. So the only thing I need to do is have access to them. You did a great job explaining it so I can get it to the different parents. I see that you have, even when people are having trouble with different classes, they can go in here. I didn't, I, I didn't have no idea they could go in here and do different classes. I also didn't know you had a bullying campaign on here and a lot of positive things on here. So I, I see a lot of the stuff we had questions about as pit cybers. It's really right here on the site. We just gotta direct, I guess, the parents to the site or those that don't have access, um, try to get them to the site and, 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 and take advantage of these resources. You did a great job and thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Haynes. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am, Ms. Tammy, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I sure can. Awesome, I don't know if you can see and hear me or just hear me, so. Um, but one of the things I was thinking about with the, um, some of the pieces that we have, like you're doing the overview and stuff today, mm -hmm. um, like with MTSS and some of those other pieces, a lot of times when parents just see all that stuff at one time, it may be overwhelming. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe like with <clears throat> the, even with the bullying prevention, for example, or just, mm -hmm. it could be any of them, or SLDS is, okay, here's how you look at SLDS, this is what it could mean for you and your kids. So um, like we did during the COVID times with the um, 
the videos like we did stuff with modern classroom mm -hmm. um if it just like a five minute video and then have that on that streaming thing at the, the home page mm -hmm. uh here's the resource of the month is slds or so, uh, here's the resource of the month did you know we had a bullying prevention campaign here's the, you know so that um those quick little bites so that people could see and know and could get that little bite-sized piece and then at the end of that maybe no more than five minutes you know if you have more information then or if you have more questions then reach out to us and you know have your email address and that kind of stuff up because a lot of times we don't know what we don't know so if you have those things already put up where you know those little bites uh, on that on the streaming banner would be amazing just so they you know okay I didn't know we had that and click on it and maybe that two or three minutes that might uh, as Mr. Haynes said that might let somebody know oh, okay there is something for that or I didn't know they had that program or I didn't know that I could do something to help my child do X you know so that it kind of gives them that bite-sized piece as they're going through um that's, that was one of the things I thought about and just that and maybe just a webinar about all the acronyms. I can only imagine as a parent when you, you know, you got PBIS and MTSS and, right. you know, all these different things and not knowing what those things mean and what it could mean for their kid. Um, so, um, and I'd be glad to to help with some of that if you know I know you you know the stuff and you have the stuff prepared but if just if you want someone else to do some of them or to you know just tell them hey here's somebody different or however I'd be glad to participate in that part. Thank you and I, I love the resource of the month idea that's that's awesome I really like that that was good uh Mr. Haynes did you have something did you want to say something else? No, ma'am, I hit that by mistake. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I got, I got, a, but I got a lady here that wanted to talk, but she's on the phone, so I don't know if she could be able to do it from her phone. So I'm gonna let her do it from mine. Okay. Miss Story, how are you today? I'm great. How are you? And tell me your name again. I'm Mil it. Mildred Mills. Oh, hey, Miss Mildred, how are you? I'm good. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I saw. Um, I think we saw each other Tuesday night at the board meeting. Oh, that's right. Right, 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 right. That's right. I enjoyed, I enjoyed your, uh, your, your, your presentation. It was very informative. And I really wasn't aware of all the uh, program that they had to the support for the parents. And I'm very glad you enlightened me on that. And I'm definitely looking forward to working with the pit stoppers. And um, I thank you. And I'm looking forward to see you again. And uh, very informative, as I said before. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Mildred. Looking forward to seeing you too. All right. All right. Anybody else have any questions or or anything you'd like to add or suggestions? Because um, I'm open. And uh, well, if you do, uh, I showed you where my phone number and email are. Um, you can call me, you can email me anytime. If you have a suggestion of things we can do better, we're always looking to improve. Um, if you need help with anything, you can always call me. Um, if I don't know the answer, I will definitely try to get one for you. Um, but if that's, that's all I had for tonight, if you have any more questions, let me know.